Hey you guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So in my last Dollar Tree haul, we talked about this new Crafter Square adhesive cutting mat that's supposed to work for the Cricut Joy. Now I love my Cricut machine and I feel like Dollar Tree is really giving Cricut a run for their money. They're making the product super inexpensive, but is it good quality? So today we're going to put it to the test. Quick reminder to subscribe to the channel if you happen to be new. I would love to have you. We're all about life on a budget. I'm a mom of two boys from Philly. So if you can relate to any of that, definitely can Consider subscribing before you go follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. I'm just at sensational finds I would love to have you over there. We post tons of DIYs talking about Dollar Tree products all that kind of stuff So all right y'all without further ado, let's get started on this new video just taking a look inside of my Dollar Tree, I wanted to share the craft section. There are tons of options when it comes to vinyl at Dollar Tree. They have some that is permanent and some that is removable. They have a few different finishes, glossy, matte, and also glitter. They have a ton of tool options, which is nice when it comes to saving money. The vinyl can get pretty pricey if you want different kinds of styles. Dollar Tree is selling it for $1.25, and when you look on Target.com, you can find some for $2.99. So you do save a bit of money when you're buying it at Dollar Tree, but is it good quality? That's the real question. Now, Dollar Tree just started selling, or at least I just got it in my store, the size of vinyl that's for the Cricut Joy. The Cricut Joy is one of my favorites for doing super quick fast little projects like you don't want to do anything that's too intricate so this vinyl is going to be amazing to test out so we picked up one of those as well now for the fun part let's start putting some of this stuff to the test first things first we're going to be trying the dollar tree standard grip cutting mat we're going to be comparing it to the cricut joy standard grip cutting mat one noticeable difference is the one that's dollar tree selling is 6.5 you can find a similar version at target being sold from cricut for about 369 so half the price when you buy it at dollar tree i do wish the one that dollar tree sold was longer because it makes doing projects a little bit easier we're also going to be using the crafter square craft picker this is basically the tool that you need to weed out all of your projects when you put it side by side to the cricut one they're nearly identical the only difference is the one from Dollar Tree is a little bit longer. Of course, we're going to be testing out the mat, which I've already shared, and then we're going to be using some of the Dollar Tree vinyl. I picked up the size that was meant specifically for the Cricut Joy. I think this color is gorgeous. It's good for fall, so we're going to test that out. I was pleasantly surprised with how much vinyl you got for just $1.25. I thought it was going to be like a little rinky-dink amount, but you got a good amount that you could do multiple projects. So if you mess up or you just want to have options on hand, this is definitely worth picking up and keeping like in your stash of stuff. Now, there is a film that comes over top of the standard grip cutting mat. You want to make sure you save that because you need, to, you need that to help keep the stickiness alive. So now let's create a project. I just added my vinyl right onto our Dollar Tree standard grip mat. I created just this little image in my Cricut Design Studio. It was already pre-made. We started cutting. It was doing its thing. It wasn't moving around. It had a good amount of stickiness. I was actually pleasantly surprised. But of course, the first time around is always going to be the best. We have to see how it is after multiple uses. I'm just using one of these paddle cutting boards as a blank. I wanted to make a super simple little fall DIY that I could add in with my fall decor. I decided just to use the Cricut transfer tape because that's what I prefer. I like that it has the lines on there so it makes it super easy for my projects not to be wonky or tilted. So this is how it looks once I have the vinyl on there. I like it. The only downside that I would say about this vinyl is it's glossy so it has that shine to it. I really wish that it was matte. So we're going to spruce this project up by adding a little bit of jute twine right to the handle. You guys know I'm a farmhouse rustic kind of gal so anytime i can use jute twine i always do it's like my go-to thing if it's a sensational finds diy i'm using twine honey i said it before and i'll say it again this velvet ribbon from dollar tree is the best i love it i should have picked up every color i got orange so we're going to use it for this project. I'm just creating a super simple bow. This is how I do it. I don't really know. I'm not a professional bow maker, but I just pinch it right in the middle. I add a zip tie to keep everything in order. I don't play, I don't tighten it all the way because I like to be able to maneuver the ribbon once it's on there. And then I just cut it. It's so, so simple to do. I take a little excess piece of ribbon. I hot glue it right in the middle to make the knot of the bow. And I think that it looks pretty good for a basic bow maker. I know there are some people out there that can make killer bows. 
I am not one of them. I have this basic bow and I basically do it every single time. So we're going to place that with some leaves. I was going to use orange leaves, but then I decided to get some of those really pretty ones that Dollar Tree adds in. They're like light ye the yellow and pinkish ones. We're just hot gluing that right onto our jute twine. And the project is done y'all look at that my blood type is pumpkin spice it's fun it's festive it's going in the color scheme and basically everything is from dollar tree except for the actual cricket machine i think it's a great budget friendly option now we're going to try the glitter y'all the glitter vinyl i had high hopes for i thought the orange was going to be fun we're still using the same standard grip mat from dollar tree now this is the second time that we used it one way to keep the stickiness i will share at the end but we're going to try it again with the glitter I would have to say, just hands down, I was so disappointed with this glitter vinyl. The glitter was falling off of it. It was super hard to work with. I would not recommend this. I think that the project came out super cute. I think the Hello Pumpkin looks weird, but I like those little pumpkins on there. I would say that it's good, but I would not rebuy this. I would not recommend it. It's just not something that I would do. Somebody mentioned in the comments on Instagram that they actually use the washi setting, so that might be a little bit better. Let me share a real quick hack for how to clean these standard grip mats. If you notice that your mat is dirty, it's not sticking anymore, you're having issues with your project moving around, take a little bit of Windex and a paper towel, wipe it down, make sure you get all of like any bits and debris and all that kind of stuff off but you wanna make sure that you let it dry completely. Once it dries, you'll notice that the stick comes back, it's clean and it's ready to use next time. Then you're gonna to wanna to take that, that film that it came with, there's like that clear film, put that right over top so that it's ready for your next use and you don't have to worry about it losing that stickiness. So now let's rate these Crafter Square Cricut dupes. I want to first start off by saying anytime you can save money on things that you're using on a regular basis, it's a win. But we want to make sure what we're saving on is actually good quality. Let's start with the standard grip cutting mat first from Crafter Square. I would give this a five star. For $1.25, it did a fantastic job. It still kept its stickiness. It acted as if it was a regular Cricut cutting mat. This is something I definitely would recommend. I think that you can buy the Dollar Tree version and you wouldn't be missing anything. The Crafter Square Vinyl, I would have to give a three star. The Glitter one, I give it a one star. If you're using it on paper, then that's fine, but I would not use it on anything else but paper and it was extremely hard to work with. The Crafter Square Cricut Dupe Tools are a five star. I noticed no real difference with any of the Crafter Square tools that I use compared to the Cricut tools and I have both. So if you wanna save money, definitely pick up the Crafter Square tools. If you guys have tried any of these projects for yourself, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you are new and you're still here, subscribe to the channel before you go. I would love to have you. Give the video a thumbs up because it helps my channel from not dying and it would mean the world to me. And follow me over on TikTok and Instagram because I'm over there all the time sharing DIYs and other projects. The hidden word for this video is boo. Leave it in the comment section down below in a funny, snarky, cute kind of way and I'll feature some of you guys in my next video. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I hope you guys are all safe, happy, and healthy and doing amazing and I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye, you guys.